Good morning from the garden. It's Easter Monday and I have some planting planned for today. So I thought I would share with you some interesting edibles that we are adding to the food forest part of the garden. I'll put a link to the design of the garden in the description box below so that you can get an idea of uh, what part of the garden we're in. But basically the design of the garden goes from the southern um, part where the kitchen garden is and that's the part with the plants or um, things that require the most care to the northern part where we're now where we're planting shrubs and fruit trees that require very little care. What we're doing here is first planting the trees and bushes and after that we cover the ground with cardboard to eradicate perennial weeds and we do that in strips. So the part in front of me had been covered two years ago and last year it was planted with a herb layer of perennial vegetables and um, herbs. Um, they're not growing that much yet because it's been so cold so I will show you later in the season when they have grown more. Then there's the strip behind me that had been covered with cardboard last year. One of the great things about having this large plot now for me is that I have space uh, for some unusual plants that I have not had space for before and because I'm a garden designer I like to get to know plants first before I start using them in my designs in my clients gardens. I have some uh, plants here that I would like to tell you more about. They are crosses of um, roanberry, sorbus, with um, chokeberry and Siberian hawthorn. They were bred by the Russian plant breeder Ivan Michurin in the last century, at the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, there are several of them. It's not always quite clear what was crossed exactly, but they share some characteristics, like they do not grow too big. They're about uh, three to four meters tall, so they're great plants for small gardens. They have beautiful blossom, a beautiful fall color, and edible berries. This one is called Bursinka and um, we put it, we planted it two years ago so you can see uh, this is the growth that it, it had put on in two years. I hope we'll get uh, the first fruits this year but there are more hybrids in this group that I wanted to try out so I bought two more. One, this one is called Granatnaya um, and the name was given to it by Michurin because the fruits have a beautiful purple red color and that reminded him apparently of the uh, of garnet the stone and you see that it's quite a bit smaller so this is the growth that the plant uh, that it should get in two years and another one here is burka which is another of the hybrids the fruits of these bushes, trees, are quite a bit bigger. They should be about twice as big as roanberry or the size of wild cherry. And uh, Bursinka has golden fall color. The other ones will have red fall color. I'll be putting the plants quite close together with about two meters, six feet between them, uh, because I want to plant them in a group. Um, and as I said, this part was covered with cardboard, so um, most of the weeds are gone, but I'll check to remove any uh, per roots of perennial weeds, if there are any left. There's one more of these hybrids that I'm coveting and it's called Titan, but unfortunately it was uh, sold out when I ordered the plants. So maybe I'll be adding that one in the fall. Um, but now the planting's done and I'll show you, uh, if, if we get fruits on this one this year, I'll show it to you later in the season. Happy gardening!